Hi. This is my troll hair. Oh my gosh. I did not just wake up. I actually woke up three hours ago. So I've been on a hiatus for four weeks, I think. Five, going on five. I've just been taking care of myself, you know? Because sometimes you just need a break and you don't want to appear on the internet too much. Yeah, but lately I've been kind of drained because I just started my new internship where like um, I have to constantly interact with people. And obviously when you're starting out a new job, you feel like this sense of discomfort because it is out of my comfort zone. Coming from an introvert pers 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 perspective mm. I've been trying to just get a rest day since yesterday or just trying to get a rest day in general yeah today is also my another rest day yesterday I was supposed to have a rest day but I had to go out and run some errands because I just dropped some new pieces of clothing on my Instagram thrift store it's at PT thrifts you can check it out buy my loot or whatever right now i think i'm just gonna do a little vloggity vlog this is a weird perspective i'm so sorry this is clean it's kind of rainy i keep hearing thunders and it's drizzling a little bit my water bottle's right here and she still chose to sleep next to it like look at how uncomfortable she looks like they torture you so like that here toby let me sleep. Let me enjoy my slumber. No, but seriously, get up. Oh, uh, my socks exposed. Stop. Stop. This fucker, she always likes to steal my rubber bands. Oh my god, stop. So done. Also, the weather cleared up. It looks really nice outside. She smells like rice all the time. I don't know why. Earlier in this vlog, I said that I was just taking time for myself to really just recharge my batteries because I get very drained easily these days. And it's also because I've just been doing a little self-healing and self-care. There's a array of personal things that have happened in my life recently and I mean, I'm not gonna talk about it I mean, when these things happen, it just affects me you just don't really want to be on the internet I don't know, sometimes you just go through these things and you just need a little solitude at the same time, like, I don't want to constantly face it because it's just really annoying to, like, think about it all the time sometimes I feel like I might not be going fast enough but I only feel like this if I were to compare my growth to other people even though I'm surrounded by people I shouldn't always compare myself to them because other people may have it so much different than I do they might go through a lot more experiences sorry I'm not <laughs> like the best at like talking about 
this in like video diary form i know i talked about it sometimes in the past but like they're obviously like super vague because they all are quite personal it's really more of just like oh this happened well let's just take it in and feel what i have to feel wallow if i have to and then i move on yeah but i'm really lucky to have friends who do understand me who is willing to hear me out and just basically have the capacity or willing to free up some capacity to share my stuff out because i'm someone who feels a lot better when i talk to people about things either like physically talking to them or like just texting them about it you know it makes me feel a lot better but back then it was a lot more overwhelming like i was a lot more overwhelming to people like whenever I have a problem, I would constantly have this internal anxiety and I would instantly just turn to people for help without even thinking like, oh, what can I do on my own and what can I do to manage this on my own? Have some solitude for myself to figure things out. Like I felt like I was very like codependent on people. As I grow every day, I just feel like, you know, I am a lot more capable than I think I am. I feel like it's really important to ask for consent when you are about to rant about something because not everybody can carry the baggage that you are about to share with them. Not everybody would be able to carry your share of load because some people already have lots of weight on them and it can be very very overwhelming for you to you know pour more weight on them so it might be overwhelming for you but it's even more overwhelming for someone else probably i've kind of just been taking some steps into giving myself the self-care that i have and also just following mental health instagram accounts i know this sounds super like new agey and superficial and whatnot but i feel like it does help and it's sort of like a therapist on instagram i mean they are they are actual therapists on instagram i enjoy their posts i enjoy their content that they had to put out and it made me realize so many things and i'm not just saying like oh you should follow like mental health accounts that you never had to see a therapist it's still better to see a therapist because there's someone like physically there to for you to talk to so it feels like an actual outlet in a way i still recommend just going to a therapist if you're going through something or even if you're not going through something like it's still good to see one i feel like everybody needs one you know because like you can always share your problems with people but at the same time these people yes they are your loved ones your friends family they're not trained professionals to properly structure what you're thinking so in a way i recommend everybody to see like a psychiatrist or a therapist sorry i keep rubbing my nose it's so itchy uh okay it's getting dark again for the fifth time i will show you the view outside I love it. Oh my god. He just killed a lizard. <laughs>